just like a homage to the new USA community. Thanks everyone for tuning into Food Network and if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, make sure you Google that. I've got no link because I can't link out to US pages. Hello everybody and welcome to Katie Fix. I am very excited today because I'm actually not doing my recipe, I'm doing BBC Good Food. They haven't asked me to but I tried it the other day and I thought it was absolutely bloody genius and I thought you needed to know about it. So today we are making a strawberry gatto. So easy, looks blooming impressive and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Do you wanna see? All right then, let's get going. This is where the cheat comes in and you know me, I love a cheat. Got to cheat if I can. We've got here some large flan cases. Now you can get these in any supermarket. They're just sponge flan bases basically. So if you want to prepare yourself a little summer tart, then you don't have to go to too much trouble. I've got two of them and I've got myself a 23 inch cake tin. We are going to use the base of our cake tin. So try and get a uh, pop out one if you can. It's gonna make your life a lot easier as well if you do. And we're literally going to place that into the center of our flan and just trim around it. Now, a lot of you have very kindly been sending me your recipes recently, which I'm so grateful for. And please, please, please keep them coming because that's what I love about the foodie community is that obviously we're all cooking, we've all got our own spins on things. And I love giving new stuff a try, which is why when I saw this one, I couldn't resist it. It was absolute genius. You should have just a nice pop-out centre, all measured and ready to eat from your flan. We're gonna take our cake tin back and we're gonna grab ourselves some cling film. And you're going to put a generous layer of cling film into the base of your cake tin. This is gonna help support everything whilst it's cooling and allow us to take it out nice and easily. And we're gonna grab one of our flan bases and pop that straight in using the flat side down so we've got a nice clean edge. So super, super easy. So your flan base is in the bottom. Got a punnet here of strawberries, which is about 400 grams. We're gonna find ones that are of a relatively equal height and we're going to slice them in half and use these to create a crown around the edge of our gatto. Now insert them so that the cut side of your strawberry presses against the cake tin. This is going to aesthetically look so damn cool. So they have like a lovely crown of strawberries on the inside of your tin as well. Now let's enhance that strawberry flavour. Here I've got some gorgeous strawberry conserve jam. <laughs> and I'm going to use three tablespoons just on the bottom of this. And I'm just going to spread that around on the base, getting it into the nooks and crannies of the strawberries. Now you can go smooth, you can go lumpy, whatever the hell you want to do. You don't even have to go strawberry. You could switch this out and do um, Oh, like a raspberry jam, or actually you could turn this into a bit more of like a Black Forest Gatto. And you could have cherries around the edge, and you could put a, a chocolate base in there. Ooh, or maybe some salty caramel. Oh, and then just use biscuits around the edge. Oh, I don't know. Oh, whatever you want to do. So now we're going to move on to our cream filling. So I've got 600 mils here of double cream, and that's going to go into our mixing bowl. Add in two tablespoons of icing sugar. Go one. That was quite a big one. Two. <laughs> and I've got some elderflower cordial here. Oh, I love elderflower cordial. Uh, which actually, it's just been the season for elderflower. We made about 20 bottles of elderflower cordial this summer. It was glorious. But I'm going to add in three tablespoons of elderflower. So I'm going to eyeball this a little bit, actually. Then we're going to grab ourselves a hand whisk, electric whisk, or actually, you can very much do this with just sheer arm strength and willpower, but. I'm lazy. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop there because that is going, feeling really stiff and firm. <gasps> and holding it a shape, right. Into our cream mix, we've also obviously got the rest of these strawberries. So I'm just going to rattle through. I am going to go quite small with these because I want every mouthful to be almost kind of speckled with these beautiful ruby gems. And then to avoid over whisking, we're actually just going to fold these in. And then we're going to take half of this mixture and pop it into our tin on top of your jam and strawberries. 
smooth down, lock in those strawberries into the side to really kind of push that into the edges. Okay, now we've got that rim of excess flan. We're actually just going to crumble that up and put that onto the next layer. So it's almost a bit like a trifle, really. Then we're going to take another three tablespoons of elderflower and we are going to pour that straight over this part of the sponge. Lovely. And then we're also going to take another three tablespoons of jam and we're going to use that to go on top of our flan. Take the rest of our cream and pop that on top. It's very fun. It's a big like construction. Ooh. It's okay. Ooh. Finish off with that other layer of flan, which I'm going to keep the base as the top because it looks lovely and clean. Just apply a nice bit of pressure. Just firm everything down because you want it to hold together. And then this is actually going to go into our fridge to have some chill time. Now, it doesn't need a huge amount of time. If you can give yourself an hour, that's fantastic. If you want to leave it overnight, 24 hours, it's going to be super firm and perfectly ready for your party tomorrow as well. But I'm just going to whack this into cool for a bit. Cool. To set for a bit. And we're going to crack on with a little bit of icing. Whoop. We've got here 150 grams of icing sugar and we've got some raspberries. Now, I'm going to take just a small handful and I'm going to give them a crush with a fork add in a splash of water to this as well. To this, we're going to add in our icing sugar. Now, don't be scared because it's going to look like a lot of icing sugar for the amount of raspberries, but icing sugar absorbs super quickly into any sort of moisture. So 150 grams to say six to eight raspberries should be plenty. Two hours later. How pretty is that? Oh, right. Unsheath it. <laughs> Can I say that on the channel? <laughs> Looks like you've spent hours and hours on it. And yet it was so easy. And then we're going to take our raspberry topping and just pour that on top. I've got some pistachios here. I'm just going to give a rough chop. And if you imagine those gorgeous greens and purples of the pistachio, they're going to look so beautiful. And there you have it. A beautiful, ridiculously simple strawberry gateau. Thank you so much to BBC Good Food for having such a wealth of amazing recipes. If you haven't seen them, please go and check them out in the description box below. Also, please send me your recommendations for great recipes to try. I bloody love it. I'm sharing with you, you share with me, then we're a happy, happy family. So I hope you like this, guys. Give it a try, give it a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye! I'm so proud of it. It looks so good. Oh, it tastes really good too. It does. I've had it like five times.